morning and tip of the day. In this tip of the day, we're gonna be talking about how do you clean this cylinder head? This cylinder head is direct injected. There's an injector right there, comes in from the side, sprays fuel in here. The problem with direct injection is that it carbons up the intake porch quite bad. It just totally, totally fills up all kinds of carbon in the intake ports and it almost closes them completely up. So when we take them apart, we actually have to sit here and brush them, clean them, scrub, scrub, scrub to get it out of here. So the reason it's basically in here is because of the carbon in the intake ports. So how do you clean that and not get glass beads everywhere inside this head? Here's a, another um, issue we have with late model cylinder heads. See these little ball bearings that are in here? Those are oil galley plugs. See those? So once they machine that, instead of threading it and putting in a screw-in plug, they drive in these little steel balls that are slightly bigger than the hole, drive them in, and they're done. They don't go nowhere. They're there. It, here's the problem. What do you do with them? What do you do with those? How do you get those off? Well, I do have a tip. The tip of the day is I use a Chevy dowel pin, the little dowel pins that are on the cylinder head. And you got to remove them when you deck a block anyway. When we do a, a, a full build, we throw them away, but we put new ones. Save all the old dowel pins. TIG weld the dowel pin right there on top of that. TIG weld it. Use your slide hammer. Slide those out. And now you got these off. But you're not going to put them back in. So what you're going to do afterwards is you're going to tap these and put in a screw-in plug. All of that work, this thing has them all over the place. To remove all of those, excuse my hand there, to remove them, all of those is quite labor intensive. That's why no one wants to do these. But like I said in a previous video, these are quite profitable. You just got to learn what we need to get in and out of here without damaging the head. So tip of the day, if you're just doing a quick, clean, simple vibe job and you're getting rid of all the carbon out of the porch, what do we do? Tape up all of the holes that go into oil. Anything that has a tensioner and we have oil pressure fed tensioners, the feed lines up here on the top that feed oil to the cams. Anywhere there's oil pressure, tape them all up. We're not gonna, there's no need to glass bead up here. It's right out of the spray washer and it looks nice. All we really are concerned with is the ports. I've already cleaned them, so they're nice and dry now and clean and it's not gonna take much at all. But you can see, see I've already cleaned them all out. And could we leave it just like that? Look, that port actually, don't look that bad. But we wanna go ahead and glass bead those ports because that's why it's in here. So leaving any carbon in the port and the reason it's here is because of the direct injection, we wanna get that clean. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna tape up all of the holes that lead to oil and just glass bead from here out, from there out, maybe the flange area and that's it. Blow dry everything, pull off, off of the tape and we are gonna make sure it's washed really good. All right, tip of the day, Clean, 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 and just tape up all your holes and you don't have to worry about that I get all that glass out of there. All right, we'll see you on the next tip of the day.